Foxy. Make sure you click that subscribe button so that you never miss any of my amazing adventures. Can't wait to see you soon for more story time. Hi kids, it's me, Miss Booksy. Today we're gonna start a new story about Halloween. This is the story of Tricky Jack and how he helped bring about some of our favorite Halloween traditions. Let's jump right into chapter one. Tricky Jack was known as the biggest prankster in town. He was always causing trouble, like drawing on the walls, jumping in the public pool, taking candy from the candy store, Oh no! Jack just took my whole stock of chocolate lollies! And tying people's shoes together. <laughs> I'm the trickiest trickster in town! He even once pants the mayor! And therefore, my fellow compatriots, in our time of being, we... <gasps> that sneaky little punk! Tricky Jack is the worst little trickster in the whole dang town! One day, Jack's antics caught the attention of a sneaky witch. Excuse me, what was it you just said about the trickiest person in town? Jack is the sneakiest little fellow there is, always pranking us and making us unhappy. <gasps> that can't be right. Everyone knows I'm the trickiest trickster in town. It's because I'm a witch. That's what we do. It's in the job description. And on that fall day on October 31st, the witch made a decision that will change Jack's life forever. I'm gonna prove I'm the trickiest one there is. Jack can't beat me, I'm the tricky witch. Later that day, Jack was walking on the trail back home when a mysterious figure approached him. Whoa, what's that? Hello, Jack. I have to warn you about something important. The Tricky Witch has heard about your pranks and wants to prove that she is the trickiest one in town. Impossible. I'm the trickiest trickster there is. You may be in major trouble. So? I'm always in trouble. You don't understand. The Tricky Witch will stop at nothing to prove that she is the trickiest one there is. The only way you can be safe from her is if you stop pulling pranks on people. Only then will she leave you alone. No way, angel food cake. Playing tricks is what I do. You need to stop playing tricks on people. Nobody likes it. And the witch will never leave you alone until you behave. Let her. I bet I'll bother her more than she bothers me. The angel could see that persuading Jack to be better wasn't going to work. Well, if you won't listen to my advice and behave yourself, there is one way to stop the witch, but it won't work for too long. Go on. It's autumn, and the one thing that the witch hates more than anything is the fall harvest. She especially hates root vegetables like pumpkin, squash, potatoes, turnips. She hates potatoes? You mean she doesn't even like french fries? Not one bit. She doesn't even like sweet potato fries. My point is, if you aren't going to be good, you can at least try and stop her with that. But she'll be back. Whatever. I'll be fine. I don't care if she tries to one-up me forever. I'll always be the trickiest guy there is. Well, just in case, I will give you this to ward off the witch, should she come our way. If she touches it, she will be banished from our world and won't be able to come back until next year. Cool, I'll take it. Ew, what's this? It's a turnip. You know, a gourd, a root vegetable, grows in the ground, sometimes put it on salads. Have you ever eaten anything healthy, ever? The only food I eat is candy, french fries, chocolate, and candy. Wow, that's a lot of junk. I bet it hurts your belly. Do you always have a stomach ache? Yes. Anyway, use it to keep the witch away, but remember, she'll never truly leave you alone until you give up your prankster ways and become a good contributor to society. Save the spiel, Jack, ow. And so Jack left the angel and started going home. Just kidding, he pranked her first. Oh, I should have seen that coming. But after pranking the angel, Jack headed home. And once again, as Jack got close to his house, he noticed something else on the path in front of him. Hey, you pile of scrap, out of my way. Please, young man, can you help me up? Hmm, let me think about it. Psych. You just made a big mistake, young Jack, for it is I, the Tricky Witch! <laughs> Tricky Jack had just pranked the witch and she was not happy. 
You just made a big mistake, young Jack. Where is I, the tricky witch? <laughs> I've heard you think you're the trickiest lady in town. That I am. I'm the tricky witch. It's in my name. Oh, yeah? Well, what kind of tricks do you do? Lots of tricks. I can turn butter into mud. I can make another me. And I can turn tree frogs into regular frogs. That's nothing. I bet you can't even make candy appear out of thin air. Oh, of course I can. Ooh! Hey, no fair. I didn't make that candy for you. Well, I'm the one that's eating it, so it's mine now. Hmm. You're trickier than I thought. Tell you what, let's do a challenge. At that moment, Jack remembered the angel's words. The witch will never leave you alone until you behave. But the chance to play tricks seemed too much fun, and Jack knew what he was going to do. A challenge? You're on! You say you like candy? Well, let's go around from house to house looking for some and see who can get the most. Whoever has the most wins. Well, I'm sure I'll win this one. I'm good at taking candy, but how about we raise the stakes a little bit? If I win, I get to keep all the candy you found. If you win, you get to keep all my candy. Sounds like a deal. Oh, too, too slow. slow. So Jack and the Tricky Witch walked to the center of town and got ready for the challenge. Whoever could collect the most candy from around town would win. OK, let's begin. On your mark, get set. Hey, I didn't say go yet, you cheater. But Jack was already collecting as much candy as he could find. He found caramel sweets in an old lady's purse, took lollipops from little children, <laughs> and even went directly to the source, the candy store. Oh no, Jack just took my whole stock of chocolate sandwich cookies. Jack felt good about his work, but oh no, the witch had a plan to trick Jack and win the bet. The witch was using her magic to make more candy. She really was a tricky witch. See, there's no way I didn't win this challenge. <laughs> a little while later, the challenge was over and Jack met the tricky witch to count up. It was pretty clear who'd won. Ha, it looks like I win. I'm the trickiest one of all. Wow, you sure are. I guess a bet's a bet. Here, take all my candy. Oh, that was almost too easy. Go on, Tricky Witch. Count it up. Oh, boy. I love rubbing salt in the wound. Yes, let's count up how much more candy I have now that I have yours, too. One, two, three, four. Ah, a root vegetable. Ah, I'm disappearing. He had done it. Jack had tricked the witch. And now you're banished! All of this candy is mine! I may be banished for now, but you'll bet I'll be back. Nobody tricks me and gets away with it. In one year, I will return and get revenge. Yeah, whatever. Revenge! Revenge! Well, I'm glad that problem has gone away and will never bother me again. But just when Jack thought all his problems were solved, a familiar face appeared in front of him. The angel had returned. You! What do you want? I told you, Jack. The witch will be back, and she will keep coming back again and again until she beats you. You cannot trick her forever. Yes, I can. Want to bet? No. We just went over this. Ugh. Never mind. Anyway, beware. When her banishment ends in one year, she will be smarter and trickier than ever before. Well, so will I. That is not something to be proud of, Jack. If you keep playing tricks, you will never be free of her. She will bother you forever and ever. And if she wins, you will be her prisoner. Where would she take me? To where she came from, the realm of darkness, a world of ghosts and darkness and evil witches. So I'll just have to keep tricking her forever. That's fine by me. I'll never give up my tricky ways. You say that now, but I'm warning you, a life of trickery and rule breaking is one you will regret. Oh yeah? Wanna bet? No. 
Hey kids, Miss Booksy here. You know that Storytime with Miss Booksy is the place for your favorite princess adventures and fairy tales. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our great stories. See you there. After Jack beat the witch's challenge, Jack was very pleased with himself. He had outsmarted an evil witch and she wouldn't be back for another year, which for Jack felt like a long, long time. But while the next year passed and Jack continued to pull pranks on everyone he met, the angel watched over him. Look at me, I've learned nothing. And so Jack kept pulling his pranks. Soon fall turned into winter. Woohoo! And winter turned into spring. <laughs> Uh, my allergies! Uh, does anybody have a tissue? I do! Did you put pepper on this tissue? Yes, yes I did! And spring turned into summer. Protect yourself from the sun, buy my sunscreen! Your sunscreen doesn't work! My whole family is burned! <laughs> I'm hilarious! And winter turned back into fall. Surprise! This is unpleasant. Soon it was October 31st yet again, exactly one year since Jack had last seen the Tricky Witch. Jack woke up and knew that the witch was going to be coming for him. Oh boy, October 31st, the day the witch comes back. I bet I'll trick her again! Jack was a little nervous. What if the witch beat him? He was so anxious that he began walking around town looking for her. He looked everywhere. The fountain at the center of town. Young man, get out of there. That's where the ducks poo. I like it in here. The local graveyard. Even the mayor's office. Eek, the pencing boy. Get out of here, Jack, you little trickster. As the morning turned into late afternoon, Jack decided to go home. As he strolled past the town's pumpkin patch, he found another figure curled up in the road. Please, young man, can you help me up? Aha, it's the witch. No way, Jose. I didn't even fall for this the first time. Oh, gosh darn it. Hello, Jack, it's me, the tricky witch. I'm back and for my revenge. You sure can try. You may have tricked me last time, but this time, I'll make sure you don't have anything you can use to banish me. Empty your pockets. Hmm, perhaps we should do a classic challenge scenario. How about a race? A race? I love racing. I'm the fastest person in the world. Well, I'm a witch. I can move super fast. Hmm, this road isn't very long. How about instead of racing on foot, Let's have a climbing contest. That way, I can keep an eye on you so you don't cheat. And same to you, you cheated last time. So did you, and I still won. Enough, a climbing race it shall be. What should we climb? How about the old patch tree? Whoever gets the top first wins. Deal. Oh, no, too, too slow. slow. As Jack and the witch wandered over the big tree, the angel appeared in the sky for Jack to see. Jack, this is your last chance. You don't have to challenge her. The only way to truly win is to leave her alone. Jack thought it over, but deep down, he already knew what he was going to do. Jack was a trickster through and through, and there was no way he was backing down from the witch's challenge. Don't worry, angel food cake. I got this. At the base of the tree, Jack and the witch prepared themselves for the climb. Okay, I'll count down. On your mark? Get set, go! And so the tricky witch started climbing as fast as she could. She climbed higher and higher and higher. So high that she couldn't even see Jack. She couldn't believe it. It looked like she was winning. But where was Jack? He was running away? Jack ran as fast as he could to the pumpkin patch nearby and started picking all the pumpkins he could. Big pumpkins, tiny pumpkins, anything he could. Then he raced back to the tree and started placing the pumpkins at the bottom. Soon there was a whole field of pumpkins at the bottom of the tree. It didn't take long for the witch to realize that Jack hadn't followed her in the race. Hey, what's going on down there? Looks like you've won again. The witch slowly climbed back down the tree but stayed at the bottom branch as the truth hit her. There was no way for her to get down without hitting one of the pumpkins. Oh, a root vegetable! No! What do you have to say for yourself, witch? Uh, 
darn it! There's no way for me to get down without being banished again! I have a new idea. What's that? You and I will make a deal. You will never bother me again for as long as I exist. You will never take me to your home with darkness and ghosts and stuff. And what do I get in return? I'll move these pumpkins away so you can get down. The Tricky Witch considered Jack's words. Okay, deal. If you move the pumpkins, I will never be able to bother you, and you'll never be allowed to enter the realm of darkness. Deal. You have no idea, do you? About what? Not every deal is as great as it seems. Sure, whatever. Bye, witch. You'll never bother me again. And as promised, the witch never bothered Jack again. Jack lived the rest of his life pranking people, pulling tricks, and being a troublemaker. He did so until he was a very old man, living alone and friendless. And soon Jack's life was done. I'm ready to go to the next realm. I hope it's fun. But just then, the angel appeared in front of him. Hello, angel food cake. I'm ready for you to take me to my next life. I'm sorry, Jack, but I can't. What do you mean? You weren't a good person. You spent your whole life playing tricks on people. What? Your spirit will stay in this realm and for all of eternity and you'll never be allowed to leave. Well, that's fine. I can still play pranks and stuff. Well, actually... Psych. You're a ghost, Jack. And in that moment, Jack realized the gravity of what he'd done. He had spent his whole life finding joy in hurting other people. And now, there were consequences. But, but I'll change. I'll be good. I'll do good deeds. It's too late. I gave you the chance to change your ways and do good deeds when you were young. But changing your mind just because you know there are consequences isn't enough. No one should be a good person because they have to be, but because they want to be. So what do I do now? I guess that's up to you. As the angel and the witch faded away, Jack was left to wonder about everything he did. Were all the tricks worth it? In exchange for a lifetime of fun, he now had to spend eternity trapped on Earth. This is what I get for not learning my lesson. And so Jack spent the rest of eternity wandering the streets watching. He's been known to prank other tricksters like he once was so that they may not make the same mistakes. Boo! As time passed and Jack continued to haunt the town, his story was passed down from generation to generation. Everyone knew the story of Tricky Jack and how he was trapped on Earth forever. Afraid that he would haunt them, the townspeople treated October 31st as a special day to keep tricksters away. Families would put out candy so that children could enjoy sweets freely instead of taking them like Jack did. And they also put out pumpkins to keep the Tricky Witch away. The lit pumpkins were named Jack-o-lanterns in Jack's honor, like the lantern he held. This special day soon came to be known as Halloween, which we still celebrate today. Oh my goodness, was that an amazing story or what? Make sure you subscribe to Cool School and follow us on Instagram and Facebook so you never miss a story time update. Until next time, bye!